Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Umar and I'm enjoying Finnish summer. Summer is the best time to be in Finland where temperature is from plus 10 to plus 30, a lot of sunshine and you can do a lot of activities. By the way, this video is not about Finnish weather and the summer activities. You might have heard there is no free meal in the world. So today we're gonna talk about the cost of all that fun which you have just seen. Yes, today we're gonna talk about the taxation in Finland or simply taxes in Finland or more precisely progressive taxation in Finland. I'm receiving a lot of queries from students. They wanted to know more about the tax calculation, how the tax is calculated, how the tax rate is calculated. Is it too much for student? It is expensive or no, blah, blah, blah. So today we're gonna talk about that. Before we move forward, we need to understand one thing. Finland is an expensive country when compared to Central or Eastern European countries. However, when you compare Finland with other Nordic countries such as Sweden, Norway and Denmark, then you might find Finland relatively cheaper. According to the Finnish tax administration, they have collected a total of 36.7 billion euros in income tax in 2018. Individual taxpayers accounted for almost 31 billion euros and corporate taxpayer for almost 6 billion euros in the total tax revenue. Let's talk about the taxes. In Finland, we have value added tax which is called VAT, that is 24%. Apart from that, every salaried person who is earning money uh, has to pay certain deductions every month. These deductions include four major elements. These are withholding taxes, unemployment contribution, health and sickness fund contribution, and the municipality taxes. So the tax rate is calculated based on the municipality you are living in. So a person living in Helsinki might pay a different tax compared to the person living in Lapland or compared to the person living in the southeast part of Finland. So it depends where you actually live. So now the million dollar question is how to check your tax rate. It is very simple. You can just go to this link and here you can find a tax calculator. This is an online tool which will help you calculate your tax rate. So you can see there are four tabs available, background, income, deductions, and calculation result. So you need to fill in some basic information and then you will get your tax uh, uh, rate. So I'll just uh, make it example to make you understand. So let's say I'm gonna select the tax year 2020. I'm gonna fill in the municipality where I'm living. Let's see in my case, it's Lap and Ranta. Then I'm gonna fill in other information. Uh, the most primary information here in this tab is like your, your municipality, your year of birth, and then other items like do you have a spouse and number of hundred children. So whatever applied to you, you just fill in that information and then you press next. In the second tab, you see here you need to give an estimate. In Finland, the uh, earned income and withholding, they are really concerned with the estimate you provided. For example, you are doing a job and you know that your salary is about, let's say, 2000 a month. So after uh, uh, 12 months, how much you'll be making or your salary is 4000 a month. So whatever salary you have, you need to give an estimate to, uh, your, uh, to the tax administration. There are options people might be doing uh, other things than the normal job, for example, online consulting or thing. So you have to submit your estimate yourself. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna put in the estimate that in this year, let's say 2020 in our example, I'm gonna earn this much money. So based on that, and based on the other information you have provided in your background, they're gonna give you a result. For example, I'm gonna put in 30,000 euros that I'm gonna earn 30,000 for the entire year. So my total earning in the whole year would be 30,000. And then you press the next button, you move to deductions. Now, again, I don't want you to fill anything in that. I just want you to know how you reach to that calculation. Then you go to the last one. Now the system is working and here are your results. So here are the details of, of your deductions. You can see the municipal tax is 21%, healthcare contribution will be 0.68%, increase of healthy contribution will be 0.97, daily allowance contribution, public broadcasting tax, etc. etc. So your total tax payable for the year 2020 is 4,344 euros, 44.68 uh, euros. That's the amount of tax you're gonna pay the whole year, okay? Based on the income, which is 30,000. That's the estimate you have provided. Okay, so your tax rate will be 14.5%.
However, if you notice there is another thing which is called additional withholding tax rate. If you earn more than 30,000, then the additional income you earn, you will be charged 39% on top of that income. Why? Because you are unable to provide fair estimate for your income. What happens in the meantime, you get another job or you get a pay raise or something, then you have to update your tax card. You need to tell the authority that, hey, I'm, now I'll be making more money in this year than the initial estimate. Then obviously they will revise the uh, tax rate. As we know, Finland is a progressive tax country. That simply means more income translated into more taxes. So a person who is earning more money will pay more taxes. So his tax percentage will be higher. The other person who is earning less money. So you can go to this link and here you can find two types of item. You can find a table which will explain it to you how much how much your salary and then you can see how much will be the tax, the percentage and the other item which you can see on top, which is uh, even better and I would appreciate let me just maximize it. That's very helpful. So if you go in the graph of different points, on the x-axis, you can see the income. Let's say 20,000, 40,000, 60,000, 80,000. That's the income you are planning to earn, salad income in one year. And then on the y-axis, you can see the tax rate. So at any instance, you can just move your cursor and you reach to a point so you can see how much your tax rate will be that. For example, if I go here and I stop it here, so I can see this is the point where my palka is like salary, my salary, my total, my earning, my money, that will be 20,000. So if I'm earning 20,000 euros in a year, my tax percentage will be 15%. So on this point, if I'm earning 20,000, my tax percentage will be 15%. Moving forward, if I go to another point, like say on this point, if I'm earning 40,000, then my tax percentage will be 29%. And then it keeps on and you can just see how much money you are, let's say on 30,000, the tax percentage is 23.2% and it keeps on going. So let's say this one, if you're earning 1,000, 100,000 a year, then your tax percentage will be 43.2%. So this is a good representation in the graphic form. You can see the earning on the x-axis and the tax percentage in the y-axis. So you can see how much you will be earning in one year and how much will be the taxes. I'm gonna simplify that even further with an example and, and that will make your life very easier. So you can really understand how much tax we are looking at. I'm gonna make it more easy for you so you can understand. If you look at this picture, you can see a table where salaried persons only, and you can see in the first column, monthly salary, then you have annual income, then you have tax rate in the third column, then reduction in contribution, number four is the net income. So if your monthly salary is 2,297 euros, so your annual income would be like 27,564, simply multiply that with 12. So your tax rate would be 22.90%. That means the total amount deducted would be 526 every month, and you will be getting a net income of 1,771. So this is based on the monthly. Uh, salary and monthly reduction. So if you're earning more than 3,446, like uh, up to 3,446 a month, then your tax rate will be 30.80%. That means your monthly reduction is 1,061 euros and your net income will be 2,385. It goes on. So if you're earning 9,188 or below that, so until 9,188, then your tax rate will be 45.7%. That means you are earning 9,188 euros, but you are paying the contribution reduction 4199. That's your contribution. And your debt income in your account will be 4,989. So as you can see, this is a progressive trend. The more money you're earning each month, the more reduction and contribution or taxes you're paying, the higher is the tax rate. And I have drived this table. Uh, I have drived this table from the website of Taxpayer Association of Finland. And these are the rates for 2020. So you can really see and get an idea how much uh, taxes would be deducted from your salary. So you would be falling in any of these uh, monthly sal income salary slab. So you can get a real idea about that. The top five taxpayer in 2019: Ilka Panjanen and Mikku Kodis. Mikku Kodisoya. These are these co-founders of a game studio called Supercell. If you guys are not familiar with the Supercell, no, no, not to worry about that. You must be familiar with Clash of Clans or Heyday. These are the very popular games. Almost everybody or most of the people have it in their mobile. So these two gentlemen have paid 75 million euros in taxes in 2018. Wow, that's a lot of money, man. They have paid that much amount of money. So basically they are the tax machine for Finland. 
And then we have at Heki Kustela. He was the founder and owner of uh, Plan Mecca, which is another big company out of Finland. Then at number four, we have Asko Mullimaki, a former majority owner of Lehto Group. And at number five is Maria Severina. She is the chief executive of High Test. Okay. Okay, one more surprising fact is that out of the out of the top 10 biggest taxpayers in Finland, uh, Ilka and Mikko made it half of the total contribution. Brr, that's a lot of money, man. I hope you understand the basic details, how the tax rate is calculated and how the tax is collected in Finland. Finland has such a nice tax collection system. You have to just uh, pay your part and enjoy the benefits which the country has to offer. But still, if you have any questions, do write me in the comments. I will be eager to answer. Now enjoy and let me enjoy the summer and finish my book. See you around. Bye-bye.